Hello there and welcome to Walker Analytics. I'm Wesley Walker, the founder of Walker Analytics. And in today's video, we're going to go through some reasons why your Looker Studio dashboard might be broken and what you can do to fix it. But before we begin, if any of you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Looker Studio videos, tutorials and more. And drop a like down below if you found this useful and hit that notification bell that you don't miss a single one of our uploads. Now, Looker Studio is a brilliant tool, but there are many occasions where the tool can break and it can be very frustrating for analysts and end users. I know this uh, has happened to me many times in the past and hopefully my experiences can help some of you yourselves um, work around these problems and get your issues resolved. So let's start off with the first reason why your Looker Studio dashboard might be broken. The first reason is the GA4 API quotas. So if you haven't seen my previous video in November 2022, Looker Studio made an update to their platform which enforced API quotas for Google Analytics 4. And please note that this is only happening for Google Analytics 4 connections and not for Universal Analytics. What this means is that there's now a limit on the amount of times that the native connection can be requested, the quota limitation, then your reports will break and no data will be surfaced from GA4 at all. This is a new thing and it's been quite frustrating for some users, but there are things that you can do to work around that. And I've made a full video up, which you can click on the link up below to go through that. Um, that process. So it's not the end of the world if that is the reason why it's broken, um, but it is quite difficult nevertheless. The second reason, which is a very common reason, is having a broken filter. So sometimes you might create a visualization on Looker Studio and you'll duplicate that visualization and change the data source. And the filter will be broken because the filter was meant for the previous data source, not for the new one. And very occasionally, this is the reason why a chart visualization has broken in my experience. So you want to check all your, your visualizations, make sure that they're using filters that aren't broken. And it'll be very obvious when the filter is broken or it will highlight as red. And then if um, need be, you just need to remove that filter or change that or create a duplicate of that filter and amend it to the data source that you are using in your visualization. And that should fix the issue. The third reason why your Looker Studio dashboard might have broken is that you've lost access to the data. And this can happen um, if you are using Google Analytics or Facebook ads, or you're connected to a platform and you're pulling that data into, into Data Studio. And if your access has been removed from that platform, so they've kicked you out of Google Analytics or Facebook from you leaving the company, or your client just is, has removed you from the platform, um, then that will break the, the dashboard. Um, so things that you can do to make sure it doesn't happen is to use a group account. So you can use a group Google groups um, in order to make sure that um, more people than just yourself has access or has ownership of that dashboard. You can also use a, a Gmail that has that more people have access to. So things you can do to avoid that avoid that happening is you can transfer ownership of a dashboard from yourself to someone else when you leave the company. And as long as that person you transfer to has access to the same data that you're using, then the dashboard should should work appropriately. You can also advise your clients or your business um, partners not to you know, remove you from the database because it, it can result in yourself um, or in, in the dashboard breaking. Um, and that, that's probably is the best solution for you for you not to be removed. But or for whatever reason, if you if you have to be removed, and that's non negotiable, then you want to make sure you transfer the ownership to someone who does have the adequate access. Another occasion um, with Looker Studio is that sometimes it just doesn't load. Um, sometimes all the charts and visualizations on dashboard doesn't load and simply just refreshing the page will fix that issue. Uh, there's been many occasions where in my experience and some of my clients and people I've worked with, I said that the dashboard you know, isn't loading everything and simply by refreshing the data, by clicking the refresh data option on Looker Studio or just refreshing the page, um, all the, that fixes the issue and then all the charts load. So sometimes, and it, it sucks because sometimes not everything loads and it can be even more of an issue when you're scheduling reports and the report is exported and not every resolution um, is seen in the export. Um, but sometimes it just simply needs a refresh and that will fix the problem. Many times if you've done nothing wrong, you built your dashboard exactly the way it should be um, and you're not having to face quota limitations through the native connectors, Give the dashboard a refresh and that should fix your, your issues. Another reason why your Looker Studio dashboard might be broken is you've imported a broken custom metric or custom dimension. So by broken, if you've created a formula that doesn't work, 
you've applied that to some visualizations, that will cause the visualization to break um, and your dashboard not to load the way that it should do. And this is again quite easy to spot similar to the filter situation. If you click on the broken visualization and you see your metric or dimension highlighted in red, that would mean that there's an issue with the formula that you would need to address um, in order to get the visualization working up again. But again, you can simply remove the metric or dimension or edit it um, to try and get that formula working. And the last reason why your Looker Studio dashboard might not be working is they have an incorrect date range. And what this can mean is that if you have a dashboard that is using static data or it's using data that has not been captured for, for a while, um, then if you have a data range that doesn't match with what data is available, then that will cause nothing to appear in your, your dashboards and it'll look like it's broken. So say for example, you've poured in a Google Sheets file and the Google Sheets file has a date range from 2021 to the end of 2022 and your dashboard is set to the last seven days. If it's set to the last seven days as I'm recording this video, you will only have a few days in January of 2023 appear, um, which means that you'll have no data appear in your dashboards. So you want to make sure that the date range aligns with your actual data source um, because this could be one of the reasons why no data is pulling through into your reports. So thank you all for listening to this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you on my next Looker Studio video.